I thought I would share some of the presents that we got this morning. Jared got a ton of pop figures. This is not a pop figure, but it's a Jack and Sally vinyl. We got Defeaty. We got Moana. Oh, now you're interested. Winnie the Pooh. Black Panther. Oh, now you're interested. R2-D2, R3-D-A. Rocket. She did not care for me like a minute ago, and now that I'm filming, she's like, Mom, I missed you. I like walked in like, hi, Kiki. Hi, Kiki. And she didn't move. And I was like, well, Mommy missed you. And then I sat down, and now she's like, Mom, Mom, oh, I missed you. Well, boys, you kiddies. Daddy got you in his arms. Oh, mommy missed you very much. I kept wanting to text her to say, hey, how you doing? And then I was like, I can't text her. She doesn't have a phone. And she's also a cat. Mm. But sure, let's go with She doesn't have a phone. <laughs> All right, I'm going to throw you because you're going to jump. Don't. Here we go. Don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> that got that. I got a personalized tumbler which has Ariel on it. It's my name. I'm gonna start lining things up now. And then I got this is a candle holder. It's got a little seashell on it. I got I think this is the I got a wallflower. It's a light up starfish wallflower that I will probably put in my office. I got a little apple cranberry. Cranberry. So we ain't cutting it. A little hook. Again, probably for the office. Skittles for Jared. And then I got champagne toast, which is my favorite New Year's uh, scent. It's also the scent that we use for our wedding. I have um, it's lotion, and then shower gel and then this is cinnamon pu pumpkin lotion and then I got body spray mm -hmm. and I got some little little itty bitty candles little teeny tiny teacup candles there you oh, go god Jerry got a ton of socks she picked out no you gotta look at them she picked out uh the sonic she picked out these because she thought that Danny liked wiener dogs. She goes, Danny likes wiener dogs, right? I mean, I'm not against them, but I don't like them more than any other dog. That's what I said. I'm like, well, I mean, she doesn't hate them, but it's not like she'll ever own a wiener dog. She no, thinks they're I, too loud. I will never own a wiener dog. All My, my grandmother has had a wiener dog since before I can remember, and they're... I, don't, I, I picked these out because I thought Danny loved wiener dogs. I don't, like I'm like, I don't know where you got this idea. Skittles. She was tolerable of Nene and David's wiener dog. Yeah. Jared got Smash Brothers. They're also gonna get us Kingdom Hearts three. Make sure That's they get it. Yet, so. Make sure they get it for the Xbox. And then I think oh, and then Jared's gigantic mouse pad for his games that goes on his side. Jared's now gonna play Super Smash Brothers. I'm going to play with my toy, which is the Amazon Echo, and that is pretty much our Christmas haul. <laughs> play it by ear. Good morning guys. Today is the 8th. I've got to start labeling these um, now that we're grouping them all together. Today's the 8th and Jared and I are talking about how we kind of feel like today is like the first of the year even though like we've, we're have already one week into the year um, because we've like been on vacation and then just preparing for the vacation and then recovering from the vacation and we haven't really had time to like sit and start a regular day. We haven't really had a regular day in a while. Yes, so the Love Your Body series, which is probably something that I will talk about here soon. There's a lot of different things that I want to talk about, a lot of different videos that I want to talk about of things that have kind of happened. You're probably going to be seeing this after our Christmas vi presents video, but we got um, an Alexa. Uh, she's right over there. Um, and then we also got an Echo Dot. We got the 
tall one. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I think it's called the Amazon Echo, and then we got the Echo Dot, which is a smaller one. And I'm really excited about them. They're just... Mm. There's a YouTuber that I've talked about a lot lately. Amy Landino, I think is her name. Um, but she... She's kind of like my little motivational coach next to uh, Katrina and Karina from Tone It Up. Um, she like just kind of like, but it's from like a digital entrepreneur, entrepreneur like having her own business, being a boss babe. Like she's the ultimate boss babe. And she kind of inspired me to look up podcasts that make me like, encourage me and make me happy. And I and for me, it's not, I want to look for stuff. It's not just encouraging from like Bible Christian side, but I also wanna look for something that's just like in general, like when it comes to like meditation, um, you know, just being a, like taking, getting your life together. Um, and I downloaded a couple of podcasts. Long story short, I am ready to go, ready to take on the world. Um, today is kind of the reset day. I am going to be taking down the Christmas decorations and clearing that out. I, one of the things that I learned is if you, if from like my podcast, is if you do three tasks, and these tasks are like um, doing homework or like cleaning up or putting the dishes away or like or doing laundry, like like putting your clothes away or vacuuming or something, like little tasks, not projects as in like I'm going to tidy up the apartment, that is a project. Or maybe if you're doing your homework, you have like a lot of things to do, like that is also a project. Um, work is a project in a sense. Three tasks, three little things every single day is like you shouldn't expect more from yourself. Basically like basically, like if I have a long to-do list and I only get three things done off of it, I should be able to, you know, like, not beat myself up. I shouldn't beat myself up. It's like I got those three things done type of a thing. And so even though there's a lot of things on my list today, I am going to try and relax. And if I get those three things done today, then I'm good. I'm good. Everything else will fall in place. Hey, oh, so I just got off work. I worked really late today. I rarely ever work this late. But anywho, um, the uh, Walt Disney World Marathon is going on right now. And today was the 10K, which means the expo should still be open. Should. Um, so since Hollywood Studios is literally right around the corner from ESPN Wide World of Sports, I am going to quickly change out of my costume and I'm going to go to Wide World of Sports. Hopefully I brought enough layers because this wind is cold. So I just realized when I got in the car, I checked to see him. I just ran here. They parked us on the other side. Let's go see what merchandise they have. Anyway, closes in an hour. So, here I am. So, they have Mickey and Minnie metal holders, which I need. They're $75. That holiday discount, though. These are the new shirts. I'm thinking about getting a hat, but I just got one that's this color. But I love this. This is cool. Oh, look at Minnie. Look how cute she is. I think when this goes to cast connection, I'm going to get it. I also have some for guys. Probably an updating Jared, this one. So we can match. And this is the... Oh, these are cute. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that's cool. These will probably also be a cast connection. This is awesome. No price, of course. These are cool though. Fun fact, the Walt Disney World Marathon is the only actual marathon in all of Disney World. So it looks like you, where do you start? You start behind Epcot. So basically you run all the way around Disney World and then back to Epcot. Wow. The Dopey Challenge for those that are insane. 
And then over here we got the purple dopey ones. Jared needs this shirt. <laughs> Changed my mind. Jared needs this shirt. <laughs> oh, it looks like Oswald was the 5K. That's cute. I love these so much. I think I'm going to do that for the wine and dine. They're doing airbrush tattoos over there. I think that's so cool. I kind of wish that I plan to do the 5K, but I don't think I can afford doing every single Disney race. And I think I'm really happy with doing 10K slash 5K for Princess in the spring and then doing the half marathon in the fall. But this does get me excited for my race next month. Let's do some shopping! I think I might have just found my kryptonite, guys. Specifically that one down there. But in all honesty, I could probably have a pair of each one of these. I did not get the shoes, mostly because I felt the soles of them, and I feel like those would get so ripped up so badly. Oh my god, look at this! things I probably could have bought but I think I want to save my money because nothing was like something that I would really looked into or things that I really really want so I'm just gonna hold off on the rest of the stuff probably until my race but I did get that shirt and then I got my the uh, metal holder thing that I'm gonna put in my office where all my medals are gonna go and they had a lot of the other same ones um, a couple more of relaxing like massaging your leg in spa like places but like Nothing that I had really time to do. Lots of shopping. So the expo technically closes in five minutes. Um, and everyone has, that means they have five minutes to go pick up their bib if, for the half marathon tomorrow if they have not picked it up yet already. My first 5K. I was in the same position that a lot of people are right now, running to the expo center to go pick up their bib. I remember I got off, I think I ended up having like 30 minutes from the moment I parked to go pick up my bib, and mind you, bib, and I did not know where everything was. So I was like running my butt off. Um, but fun fact, if you do forget or don't have enough time to pick up your bib, um, they will let you pick it up the day of the race because that's what happened to my friend Stephanie. Um, she was she was working, she couldn't get off, and so um, they let her pick it up the day of. But you like you don't get like the t-shirt and any of the other stuff. So keep that in mind. There's still people running. I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I don't know what the order these vlogs are gonna be coming in, but I hope you guys enjoyed this anyway. And don't forget to hit subscribe. I know I'll be posting vlogs at least once a week, probably videos twice a week. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.